Right, so we're back in the shop. I have been gone for eight days, wasn't expecting that. But I had to go to Edmonton to deliver a truck and then wait for another truck to come back. And Dad has been busy this entire time. What have you been up to? I took all the wiring out. Okay. For a simple reason is this guy went from green to black. To uh, looks like white. White. Okay. And uh, I'll show you on this side. Okay. I couldn't make heads or tails out of this, eh? Yeah, well, I don't blame you. And, uh, I don't know why, why they do this, but, uh, he must have been short of black wire again or something. Yeah. Go some black to white, so you, you can't follow it through. And then a lot of places here, he, he spliced in two or three wires on one. Okay. And then in other places, he just, uh, that's a spare one. Okay. See all this? Okay. And then in places he didn't even connect the wire, he just turned them together. Yeah. So I got to start here and go right to the front. Probably easier just putting in new stuff anyways at this point, right? Well, at least I'll know where it is. Yeah. I uh, I take and mark everything there is, eh? Good, okay. To, and I'm put a, gonna put a box up there. Yeah. That's gonna be the main. So have you been working on the engine at all here? No, there's really nothing to do with the engine. The rad is in, it's finished, the wire okay. is done for daylight. Okay, so that's new. Dad's moved back the rad there, you can see now the fan has clearance and uh, it's That's not a, dangerously close to the uh, and dad's got the, the rear door back on and uh, what have you done on the inside here oh got a dash the dash is on and solid wow where did you find that one I had a spare one eh? okay lucky 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 and I wired in for the ignition okay and that's all these are all power wires right? okay and uh i finished the bracing of the steering okay and then i cut these and uh put them in to keep the cold air out yeah you've actually progressed quite far in eight days and then i i uh took all that crap off of uh Lights and shit. Yeah, it looks like you sanded some of it. Uh, and I took, I don't know if I had the diff apart when you left. No, we hadn't touched the diff okay, at all. Okay, I had to take the diff apart to get that welded chunk of shit he put on the yoke. Yeah. I took it to the machine shop so that I can get the brake put in here. Okay. And I want to take all this... Uh, plumbing out okay and run new hoses from one end to the other okay well i, I notice you've got uh it's like one of the dog dishes here capturing some oil is that from That's, well when you pull the yoke out uh there's going to be oil it leaks oil eh? yeah so I just put that under there to save it now he took this off and uh bent it and put it back on so I have to probably turn that around again uh, because it's that should be park mm -hmm. and uh, to make the shifter work right. Eh? Okay. Uh, it's just one well, but you've got quite a bit of progress here. I see the big big change in the last uh, eight days. So this is the blue wide gauge bombardier. Uh, belongs to a customer down I'm south. Just, uh, get a battery here and I'll show you. Okay. I'll have to hook this to a switch yet. But, uh, like for instance, this should be headlights. Mm hmm. Yeah, that is headlights. 
headlights are on. Okay, now this here should be uh, interior lights inside. Okay. <clears throat> and we got one, two, three working. That's it. That's all the interior lights there is. Okay. And then uh, the brake lights. Oh. I'm, I'm wiring in right now for uh, tail lights, eh? There are monkeys in So what's the biggest surprises so far on this machine? All the shortcuts this guy took is the biggest surprise. You know, rather than do something right to Put in more effort shortcutting than doing it right. This is going to be wired into the front here. See if I can get a good ground here. Oh, I just flushed. There you go. One side, anyways. Yeah, that's both sides. But... Oh, I'm not hooked up. Oh, okay. They, they both work. Eh? Okay. So, uh, Dad's going to keep on working on the blue one here. And have you trained, like I say, the track pad is still here? Have you done anything there or no? No, but you notice how straight it is. Right? Yeah, it's a lot more so, straight. We'll work together here tomorrow. If you okay. Can. Yeah. Start taking bolts off of the track. Yeah. And because uh, that this belt has to come off. Okay. That's the outside belt on this side. Yeah. Okay. Belt on this side. Okay. So Dad's still working away at the blue wide gauge here, guys. Sorry, I took eight days off, but he's still plugging away here. You're probably still not going to see this video for a while yet because we're that far advanced in the videos, but I believe it's October 25th. Dash in. It's all bolted in. It's all, I put an angle iron underneath for support here for the steering wheel. Yeah. And uh, I had to make this to fit the dash because of the taking the old one out. Mm -hmm. So that's bolted in. The wiring is on here for the power steering, so I got to get wiring done from the back to the front here first of all, and then it's we're gonna need gauges. And yeah, well, I gotta switches. run and get gauges yet, so 